In this problem, we're told when opening a door, you push it perpendicularly with a force of 55 newtons at a distance of 0.85 meters from the hinges. What torque are you exerting relative to the hinges? And B, does it matter if you push at the same height as the hinges? So in order to solve this problem, uh, you need to know the formula for torque. And so torque we represent by the Greek letter tau. And so we know torque is equal to the radius times force times the sine of theta. And so I'm going to explain what each of these mean uh, in a second, but let's just go ahead and start with A. So A, we're trying to find the torque, right? And so what you need to know is that R represents the radius, F is the force you're applying to it, and theta is basically going to be the angle between the radius and the force. So solving for it, torque is equal to the radius, and so in this case, we're pushing it 0.85 meters from the hinges, right? And so if you imagine this thing as a rotates in a circle like a revolving door, the radius between where the force is being applied is 0.85 meters from the hinges. And so when they tell you that, they're basically telling you the radius. So this is the radius uh, if it rotates in a circle. So in this problem solving for torque, the radius is 0.85. F is just the force you're applying onto it. So in this case, it's just going to be 55, right? So that's pretty simple. And so the sine of theta, right? So as I said before, theta is the angle between the radius and uh, the force. So in this case, they tell us we're applying the force perpendicular, which basically means there's going to be a 90 degree angle between that and the radius, right? Because if we're pushing it here, this is going to be the radius. The angle between them is 90 degrees, right? It forms a 90 degree angle. So theta is going to be equal to 90. And you need to know that the sine of 90 is just 1. So really, in this case, since the force is being applied perpendicular, it's just 0.85, which is the radius times the force, which is 55. So you want to do 0.85 times 55. And when you do that, you're going to get the torque is equal to 46.75. And then we measure torque in uh, Newton, right? So keep in mind that this is, right? So this is meters and then this is Newtons. So you could say meter Newtons or Newton meters. Uh, I just go Newton meters. So 46.75 Newton meters, that's going to be the torque. And then for B, what they're asking us is, does it matter if you push at the same height of the hinges? So basically they're saying, does it matter at any height at which you push? And so keep in mind, right, this is where we're applying it, right? And the hinges are basically all along this door, right? All along this door. So if you look what this is a function of, it's a function of the radius and the force, right? But notice no matter where we do it, right, the radius is always going to be the same, right? As long as we keep the same distance, even if the height changes, it's not going to change the radius. So is it going to make a difference? No, it's not going to make a difference, right? Because the radius isn't going to change, and then there's nothing else in the function that actually changes. So your answer to B is going to be no, and then this was your answer to A. But yeah, so these are your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.